Okay. There's some things that I want to talk about. Um, I feel like this is going to be a little bit messy and I'm going to try my best not to edit out a lot so you guys can just kind of see like my thought process and just kind of what I'm thinking. Um, when I first decided that I wanted to get on social media, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it and my original intentions were like to obviously be like a mom vlogger type deal which if you guys kind of look through my old videos you can kind of get that vibe um but i have recently made the decision that i feel like i have more to offer i watched a lot of different body positive youtubers like try on hauls which i have a, a lot of people that have inspired me to kind of get into this but when i started to watch like these try on hauls that are like plus size try on hauls and follow different body positive instagram accounts it really like made a difference in the way i feel about myself and uh, I wanted to be that person for someone else. Loving, I guess, myself and my body and just everything about me didn't happen overnight. When I had my second, I lost some of the weight, not all of it, and then I just gained weight, which I think we all did during quarantine. And if you didn't, then you got some willpower. But, um,. I just decided one day that I want to put myself out there and I posted this photo on my Instagram which I will leave up for you guys to see and it's honestly one of my favorite photos that I've ever posted um it's not the most aesthetically pleasing photo I have ever posted it is my favorite because for me it was just this huge turning point and just like this is me take it or leave it because I'm not where i want to be but i'm not going to hate myself to that point nor is that going to be productive for anything and so i think recently i have just like i, I don't make money on youtube which i feel like a lot of you guys know if you are on youtube that you don't make money until you have at least a thousand subscribers and um a certain amount of watch hours which i don't have either so everything I do on this platform is actually like costing me money technically since I'm doing like clothing hauls and I'm not getting paid for them and I'm spending my own money on them. Um, I do have a couple of collaborations coming up on here which I'm really excited for because I've worked really hard on this platform and it's finally kind of starting to pay off a little bit. But what I'm trying to get at is I don't get a financial gain from doing this and putting myself out there like that. So it's easy for me sometimes to focus on numbers and be like I don't have a thousand subscribers here why did that video not get as much views as this other video like I felt like I did really well on that I took a long time to edit it I feel like I did my makeup really pretty and I did my nails why don't people like me like I feel like it's really easy to get caught up in that on social media as a whole um my Instagram is a little different because I do profit from my Instagram so with YouTube I don't and I think it's easy and I just shared this on my Instagram recently that it's really easy sometimes to forget your why and while some people their why is like a financial benefit like they do want to just do YouTube as like a stay-at-home type job and make money and stuff but for me that's not it um and I think for me, I do get focused in the numbers sometimes because not that I want to make money, but because it's like I want to impact more people. And I'm like, I want more subscribers. I want more views because I want to influence more people. And I just, like I said, I just don't want to forget my why. And if you're on this platform and you're kind of starting to feel discouraged and think about your why, like, why are you doing this and use that? So for me, like I said, these plus size fashion bloggers and vloggers and Instagrammers 
had such a huge impact on my self-esteem and my confidence and like I said I just want to be that for someone else and if I did that for even just one person or made one person just feel a little bit more confident then I feel like I'm successful in what I'm doing <sighs> yeah I wanted to just put that out there and talk about it so if you're ever watching one of my videos or if you're watching this video and you're like wow like I feel good or this is making me feel better or this is making me have more confidence whatever like let me know for me that is why I do this and so it is nice to know if you are impacting someone and it maybe you don't have to leave it in the comments maybe you send me a message on Instagram which so many people have and so I just yeah I guess that's just really what I wanted to say is like I've sometimes have been kind of forgetting my why and focusing so much on numbers and and if you're doing that you need to stop because refreshing your YouTube 30 times a day isn't gonna get you subscribers <laughs> yeah so this is my pep talk to myself this is my pep talk to you yeah hopefully i've done that for you and yeah that's it <laughs>